صباح الخير جود مورنينج بونجور بونجورنو عادي نعيدها جو نايت طب ما يمدينا نعيدها بس يس صباح الخير بونجور بونجورنو جو نايت اور جود مورنينج ام محمد الحكباني Uh, as you've uh, heard, me, heard me speaking on different languages, however, whatever you speak in math, it doesn't, uh, it's not an obstacle uh, that will encounter you while understanding the effectiveness of math, ma mathematics. Uh, bef before further ahead, uh, this project won't be successful uh, if in, uh, and we've encountered some uh, obstacles and hindrances, uh, such as miscommunication mis between group members and incoordination between us and to find a topic that will satisfy you. Uh, and I'm proud to say that our project isn't about uh, only its content, it's all, it's, uh, and it's about the coordination between us. And thank you. I'll leave you now with Hussam Al-Hariri, who will present his PowerPoint. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'll be presenting you a PowerPoint about mathematics. Mathematics is the language of the universe. The significance of math, personal fulfillment, active citizenship, proficiency, employability, and social inclusion. Each one of them has a significant... Employability means your ability to be able to get a job. For to get a job, you need to know how to have a little bit of experience in math, because over 50% of the jobs on this planet require math. Okay. Because over 50% of the jobs in this world require math. A teacher needs math for the grades of a student. A physician needs it to build a spacecraft. A mathematician needs it to do math. To some students, math is hard, it's difficult, it takes time, it's all equations. These are a few things that what students think of math. Although math is boring, we need it. However, this is another question. Why do we need math? Here's a brief story for why we need math. Let's say a burglar decides to rob a bank and somehow gets away. Of course, the police will be on scene momentarily and they will take a picture. We have bad news and we have the bad news is the photo is blurred, but the good news is we have math. This is what the image looked before we did math, and this is how it looks like after. How? <clears throat> Images taken by cameras and other photographic uh, capturing devices are stored as numbers. Math gave us a formula for the blurred image. If we use math, we can reverse this formula to get a good image. In other words, this is how we do it. This is how it looked like before we used math, and this is how it looks like after. It is very helpful for the police. If you're not satisfied, let's see another important. It's modern medicine. Wounds, breaks, fractures, we all need an internal image to see what's going on inside the body. Using math, you are able to discover MRIs, CAT scans, and ultrasounds. What is a CAT scan? Let's take CAT scan as an example to the importance of math to med in medicine.
CAT scans for computerized axial tomography. It's based on x-rays. CAT scans are good for intern for wounds, for fractures and breaks in the bones, but they're not good for injuries in the soft tissues. Connection. CAT scanners are work by casting many shadows of an x-ray, and they are all joined together by math. They use a distance formula to find uh, to formulate between the points. After, and another usage is to find the thickness of a bone or a muscle. Here is how they do it. This is the f this is the way they do use to see the thickness and the density of an object. And this is how they check the distance between points and other objects. Here are some remarkable facts about the CAT scan. If we measure it correctly, we can find the density of a point. This first this idea was first discovered by Redden in 1917. A machine was invented by Cormac, who won the Nobel Prize, but it took 60 years to do so. And this process is called black projection. Math in our daily life. Let's all watch this video. Math is everywhere. There are a lot of examples, but they won't make any difference. I can go on and on and giving examples of how math important is. It opens the gate to development and invention. What we're trying to say is humans without math are nothing. Thank you. And to clarify my idea, here are some, some brochures.
now you knew the importance of math, but how math did uh, started? And now Amr Al Qabani will show you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Omar Qabbani. Today I'll be talking the history of math and the history of the numbers in math. 35,000 years ago, early people curved tolly marks in cave walls to keep tracking changes in seasons. They did, the, they did these marks so they can track seasons so they can do a calendar. Babylonians used clay tablets in writing their numbers with rhyme. The numbers were represented by a nail shape for one and a V-shape on its side for ten. They used as well these marks to, uh, to do cave paintings. Paleolithic people. In Europe, etch, in Europe, etch markings on bones to represent numbers. A small cone for one, a circle for ten, and a big cone for one hundred, which was made by clay stones ancient egyptians used a complex number system which was based on drawings they also re relied on the alphabetical elements to do the system ancient egyptians used a multiplication system that relied on successive doubling and addition Moreover, it was later used by early Russians together with the concept of having. Mesopotamians invented the abacus, which was a calculating tool that was used for centuries before adaptation of the written modern numeral system. It's believed that at, in the same year, they used this, uh, the Mesopotamians discovered the shape of the wheel which helped a lot to a lot of inventions later on. Ancient Romans used a, numer uh, a numerical system called Roman numeral, which consisted of letters such as I for one and X for 10. After the decline of the ancient empire, the, the Roman people stopped using their numbers and started using the Indo-Arabic numbers. Hindus, led by Syria introduced trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, and inverse sine to the world of mathematics. The Greeks. Greeks studied the character, characters, characteristics of some geometric shapes and their relationships, such as spheres and cylinders. The word mathematics is derived itself from the word mathema. That, that means the subject of instruction. Babylonians introduced zero to numbers to increase the amount easily. The, Mayan, the early Mayan civilization used Tamri shells uh, as a currency and for counting numbers. Each set consisted of 20 shells. They used the number 20 for all their equations as well. Uh, unlike the people nowadays, we use 10 for uh, all our equations. Indians created a set of numbers. These numbers were adopted later by Arabs. These numbers are used nowadays in Europe and America. Arabs led by Al Khwarizmi created numbers using angles. They also created algorithms which helped in developing complex computations. Al Khwarizmi as well dealt with ways how to solve the a positive root of the first equation and the second polynomial equation. Arabs found methods of reducing, balancing, and solving complex algebraic equations. A philosopher called Amr al-Khayyam, who is an Arabian Persian philosopher, discovered as well ways how to deal with and solve the third equation. Fractions. Fractions using bars to separate Numerators, 
from the denominators were established during the Renaissance period. In the, in the Renaissance period, they also discovered the cubic equation and ways how to solve it. Thank you, I'm Omar Qabbani. Thank you, Omar. Uh, and now uh, we, we need to find who did all of this. Abdelaziz Sagar will be presenting who did all of this. I am Abdelaziz Sagar. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, some important mathematicians. <laughs> Around 500 BC, uh, the tales are organized form, uh, and for, from formalized uh, the five theorems of geometry. With, the, okay. With the Pythagoras formulated the Pythagorean theorem. Around 200 BC, uh, Archimedes calculated the pi to one of the most accurate me measurements of his time. Uh, era, uh, era, era was the first one to calculate the Earth's uh, circumference and states. Around 90 BC, Ptolemy published uh, al Majest, uh, which applied mathematics uh, to the motion of the sun and planets. Around the 500 uh, BC, uh, Aryabhata uh, was the first mathemat uh, mathematician to calculate the exact value of pi, uh, although uh, Archimedes calculated pi uh, in an uh, accurate measurement, there was a slight error. In the early uh, 1200s, uh, Fibonacci came up with the Fibonacci numbers. In the late 1200s, Omar Kayam treatise on the demonstration of the problems of algebra. In the early 1500s, Luca Pacioli uh, was considered uh, the father of uh, modern accounting. He did not invent the system. Instead, he simply uh, described uh, uh, des described a method used uh, by uh, Americans in uh, Venice, uh, Venice during the Italian uh, Renaissance period. He also wrote the uh, Soma de Archimedes. In the early 1600s, Pierre de Fermat created the Fermat's last theorem. Bill Pascal invented the Pascal's calculator. In the mid 1700s, Benjamin Banker developed a mathematical formula to predict eclipses, especially the solar eclipse. In the mid-1800s, uh, uh, Ada Lovelace uh, programmed computers using complex mathematician operations. George Boole invented uh, Boole logic. Uh, Ber, uh, Bernard, uh, Bernard Rayman uh, developed a new type of geometry and called it Riemannian uh, uh, geometry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you, Abdul Aziz. Uh, we knew who and how they did it. So we developed, we, we established a timeline of all the, the whole mathematics, uh, mathematics era, including the three stages of mathematics: algebraic, and geometric, and analytical geometry. Assalamu alaikum. As shown here, uh, this is a timeline of mathematics. Uh, it was divided into three ages, age of geometry, and age of algebra, and age of uh, analytical geometry. Uh, age of uh, geometry started with uh, uh, Roman uh, philosophers, Greek ph philosophers, and then uh, came the Roman philosophers. And the uh, age of algebra started with, uh, most of them were Arabs. 
and then uh, uh, age of analytical geometry, uh, most of them were women because of the civil war when they when they give women all their rights. Uh, uh, Thales was the was the one who introduced geometry to the world, and then after him came uh, Pythag Pythagoras, who introduced uh, triangles and uh, uh, missing uh, legs of triangles and how to find it. And then after him came uh, uh, Al-Khwarizmi, who was the father of uh, geometry, father of algebra. And uh, uh, after him came uh, uh, Fibonacci. Uh, he introduced uh, Arabic mathematics to Europe. Uh, and then in the age of analytical geometry, uh, 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 Germain, she was the father of uh, analytical geometry. She uh, introduced uh, probabilities and uh, uh, into the analytical geometry and uh, uh, Gallus also introduced uh, the probabilities and uh, the analytical geometry to the uh, timeline and to the geometry of the world. Thank you, Salman. Uh, some of everything that Salman said, at the age of geometry, uh, Greeks were the most uh, uh, most uh, scientists were from ancient Greek, and uh, in the age of algebra, they were Arabs, uh, as, uh, as Arab got more stronger. And the late age of uh, analytical geometry, more women uh, were there because uh, they won their civil rights. Thank you, and we will. Uh, we'd like to give you some cards uh, where we have, where we uh, where we established a website on the internet that some everything we said. Thank you.